I do remember one time I did I did buy okay, I was with JJ. Is this the one yeah. you went to see uh Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. So we're at Beerus and um So I'm I was like, gonna go to that. Yeah. Well, it, it, it changed loads. So it was like, I got, I was with JJ at Beerus and I was like, oh, if tickets come up for Jerry Seinfeld, who, by the way, if you don't know, is like the... Uh, one of the best... Well, he's the richest comedian of all time. Known as best comedians yeah, of all time. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's like he's sold, he's made, made the most money because he had Seinfeld, which is like the sitcom before yeah, Friends. Yeah. So he just makes money on that. Um, so I sold it to JJ. I was like, oh, by the way, bro, Jerry Seinfeld, he loves comedy, right? So I was like, you want to go watch Jerry Seinfeld? He's like the most like successful financially <laughs> comedian of all time. I was like, okay, that sounds sick. So at the time, it was going to be me and JJ and two other people. Um, but then they couldn't make it. So then I think you were going to come, but then you couldn't make it. So then ended up Calix came and, and Ben Bass came. Yeah. Right. So we, we meet up before the show. I go in there. I watch the show and I enjoy it. Actually, I think this is, this is top, 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 com- top comedy, right? <laughs> really good. I get out. I'm like, oh, how did you guys find it? And JJ was like, I have had the, like, that was the worst show I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he was like, that was unfunny. I can't wait for you to finish. What the fuck was that? And I'm, you know, when your heart sinks, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but like, I enjoyed it. But I think the problem is that it's like, it's just a different type of comedy. Because I think JJ likes the, you know, no offense, the Kevin Hart, like the vulgar type of comedy, like, like yeah. the slapstick that's modern. Whereas Jerry Seinfeld is very, it's very old fashioned. Like not, it's not like necessarily like, Stop! You need funny, which is very clever. Like his jokes are very smart, you know. Um, so I think just Jada didn't enjoy it. Calix didn't enjoy it. Bass didn't enjoy it. And I was like, you know what? I should have just gone with my dad. My dad <laughs> you should have. Yeah, I know. He literally listens to like uh, Jerry Seinfeld podcasts and shows and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I took the wrong. I didn't read my audience. You but are, you know, you are a boomer, by the way. I'm a boomer. Why? No, it's not. It man. is, bro. It, it is. isn't. It is. John's saying it's boomer. It's not boomer. It's just like it's it, boomer. It's, no, no, no. But, but it's like I, I like. But there's different styles of comedy. It's the same as different styles of music. From the sixties, which makes you a boomer. Nah, you, you're thinking of boomer literally in terms of actual age. I think of boomer as someone who's like out of touch. Jerry Seinfeld is out of touch. No, he's not though. Because he, <laughs> like maybe he's out of touch with the new comedy, but he's still a good comedian. Like um. Billionaire. Yeah, but you can't say someone who's a billionaire it means they're out of touch because they might not have started a billionaire. Might not have started a billionaire. No, you know so, someone, who, someone who's born into fam- born into rich richness, wealth, then that can be a boomer. But like, if someone's hustled and worked their way by doing, I what think they someone do, being seventy makes them a boomer. Nah, I, I disagree. Boomer is not an age; it's a, it's a, it's like a mindset, bro. Jerry's. Do you remember any jokes from Jerry Seinfeld? No, I, I don't remember any jokes from Kevin Hartman. I don't like. I don't sit there and rant. Do you remember bat bat stuff like that? If it's memed, I'll remember it. I don't, I don't remember that. Exactly. If it's not memed, it's boomer. I remember the one where it's like. Um, <laughs> That's a pretty solid way of looking at it. I remember the Kevin Hart one where he's like, uh, he's out at a club with someone, you got to pay the bill. And he's like, uh, you can't afford it. Cause he's like, and he's like, oh, see the way my account is set up. Exactly. That's a funny one. And when he's talking about girls walking in heels on the night out and then they do the, the ankle okay. roll and they go, back, back. Okay, I think I'm back. And also, the, you know, the one where he like looks to the side of the mic. Yeah, yeah. Like that. See, memed, because it's not boomer. <laughs> yeah, I think. But then I think sometimes though, like, is that, well, well, we need to, we need a word for anti boomer then, because like sometimes if something's not obviously funny, you might not find it funny, but sometimes it's got layers to it, and that's what Jerry Seinfeld was. It was like he had like I get know, that, but you have to you have to understand like the the story and then the punchline and like the all this stuff. Whereas like you know, sometimes sometimes people just go vulgar to you know to just force themselves to be funny. Yeah. Right, like, like for example, I, I reckon, I reckon Burt Kreischer and Thomas Gore you probably would find funny, but you, you, no, none of you would say it's as funny as other stuff. But, but like, I, it's just really, really well told jokes and stuff. They, I mean, they're quite old, like, like in their forties and fifties. Yeah. yeah. Joe, but, Joe, Joe Rogan's really old. You watch Joe Rogan, right? No, no, I love Burt Kreischer and Thomas Gore. Now nah, you're a boomer, John. You've you changed now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking about. It. I'm joking. Jerry Seinfeld is like, he's way more boomer than yeah. everyone you've mentioned. Yeah, no, I agree. I, of course, of course, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But um, yeah, that was, that was a bad time, bad show. I'll never, I'll never do that again. But saying that, do you want to come watch Burt Crash? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. But he's better, he's different. Yeah, but I'll book it. It's, it, it might be, the thing is, it might be in a date where none of us can make it. Cool, I probably won't go then. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, neither will I. <laughs> but I'm saying, I, I might just book it anyway, just in case.